Hello, hello everybody, Cindy Ashton here, and I'm super excited because here's the big question of the day. What does it really take to have a consistent money-making business? What are those things that you wanna be doing in your business so that it becomes like an automatic money machine while you are making a huge impact in the world? And that is why I am super excited because today we have Katrina on the line. Hey, Katrina. Hi, Cindy. I'm excited. I'm so excited that you're here. So for those of you who don't know her, this woman is super crazy amazing. She's like me, been in her industry for you know 20 ish years, really is the real deal, gets her people results. She's a best selling author of not one, not two, but 11 books um, and is a jumpstart your biz coach. She's really amazing at helping you with everything in terms of knowing what your business model is, what you're selling, how to package, how to price yourself, how to develop the confidence to charge more because that's a really big deal and so much more. And I just, I don't want to talk. I just want you to talk because I think there's a lot of people on the line who are like, okay, how do I jumpstart my biz? I'm ready to go. So the first question I have for you, Katrina, is creating a systematic marketing and follow-up system. This is really huge. And why is this such a challenge for people? Well, because there's so many things you could do. They're haphazardly throwing darts at a bunch of them and trying to see if they work. The problem is <laughs> with that strategy is that you're only trying it a little bit and you're not giving a consistent uh, and a frequent attempt at any one strategy, perhaps. So there are a lot of things that you can do and you don't have to do them all, frankly. Uh, so I'm all about free first, then pay. What do you need? What can you do for free in your marketing and your lead generation, your follow up and your sales? And then where do you really need to invest money? Because most people are telling you to do this challenge thing and spend two thousand dollars on someone to do that. And then they're telling you to do Facebook ads and then they're telling you to do these other things. But you haven't even done the free first, free stuff first. So, you know, yeah. You know, it's so interesting because if I look at my own business like you, I've built it and it's all my marketing has been free. I have never paid for publicity. I've gotten publicity on my own. Um, I don't pay to do speaking. If anything, I get paid as wonderful amount of money to do it. And then one of the things we're going to talk to you about today later is for those who are not like the higher paid speakers like me, like how can you monetize your speaking? But there's a lot of ways to lead generate and really build a consistent system by not paying for it. I, I find a lot of people, you know, the big thing I'm seeing, a lot of people are hiring social media people to boost your social media. But here's what the problem I see, and I would love your take on this, is that they're doing that. But just because somebody does your social media doesn't mean they're good at messaging. And if you can't grab attention with that first line, you're gone. And I'm like, you, if you yourself as a business owner don't know your messaging inside and out and don't know how to communicate that, that to me is the biggest barrier of you getting repeat sales. But that's my opinion. How about you, Katrina? I would love to hear what your thoughts are. Yeah, the messaging is clear. I call it also like you have to know what you're selling. So before you go out and turn on the marketing hose, you have to really be super clear on your offerings. And I would say 90% of entrepreneurs are not clear. They come to me and say, well, I coach people on divorce or I help them through a transition or I help them, sell, you know, I sell my products. Um, but that's not really what you're selling. You're selling the transformation, number one, of what your service or product provides. And most people are trying to sell the thing instead of the transformation. Right. And the second thing is you don't have options of price points and different business models. So you know you wanna help people. People say all the time, well, I help people blank. Well, how do you do that? Do you have a six week course? Do you have a one-on-one a -on -one coaching for six months and how much is it? Do you have a membership program? Do you have this online training? Do you do these things? And what are the price points and what are the different options that people can buy at in your product funnel? And so many people don't have that clarity. So when they go out marketing and they get people in interested, there's nowhere to take them specifically because you haven't put a system in place for them to go here and then here and then yeah. here and then here. Yeah, I, I love that you're talking about that because I see a lot of people spending a lot of money 
on all kinds of stuff, but they're spending the money before they've got the systems in place. And it's really yeah. hard to make money yeah. if you don't have systems in place. And if you don't have that product structure and, you know, you want to be in, in a conversation with somebody who's like, yes, Kat, I need to work with you. And then you might say something like, well, it's $10,000 for this product. And they're like, I love you. And I, 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 I just can't do it. You want to be able to have that down sell for them. How much money are you losing by not having that full funnel? Or I see people just selling the smaller amounts. And, you know, it's interesting because we have our Captivating Cash in Life and we just started selling it. And we're selling, we have a $7,000 ticket and we're selling, and we've got the virtual ticket, which is 500. And um, the, the, sorry, the $6,000 ticket is selling like crazy. We're going to be sold out in two weeks. Yeah. Like people don't realize. So let's talk about the high price items because that's something that you help people with. And you've got an event coming up at the end of the month, which is going to be phenomenal about really building that consistent cash flow. But one of the big things we're going to be talking about is the high price ticket items because people don't realize it's so much easier to sell the big ticket items. So talk to us a little bit about that. You know, when I first started my business, I had no idea about this online stuff. This was 19 years ago, right? And so yeah. I. <laughs> I was working by hour, $59 an hour, okay? $59 an hour is what I could say without stuttering when I first started my business, which yeah. is some people don't even charge that now. And I'm like, oh my God, please stop. <laughs> and, um, and that was before I hired a coach and I knew what was possible and I saw yeah. people making much bigger dollars. When I learned all of that, I completely changed my business model. Um, but the, in the beginning, my coaches, my additional coaches were telling me just create this high-end program. Those people had a 12,000 or a, a bigger program, right? Or a hundred thousand, actually. One of my client, my coaches had a hundred thousand dollar program and they would just like tell me, just have the high end and don't worry about all the other people. And I come from a marketing background where you put the net out to everybody, you bring them all in and then you nurture them and then they buy at different times in your life, right? I've had right. clients that have been watching me for 10 years and then finally reach out and say, okay, I'm ready now. So I never want to uh, avoid or discard uh, the people that aren't ready to buy the high end thing, but that was what I was right. taught. Okay, so I was high end, high end, high end. I might have trickled or negotiated, but didn't tell anybody. Like I would negotiate when someone didn't buy the high end because I wanted to help them. Um, but then I went to this other workshop a few years later, and they're like. It was like an easy yes thing. And that's where I learned how to really teach the easy yes offers. And so you got to have this easy yes. So I went to this event thinking high end, I'm going to go, it's a, it's a big networking event where you're supposed to sell each other. It was, that was the premise of the event to get you used to offering things. And I then love what, that. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool energy. And I do this actually at my events too. I actually force people to make offers and, and people get paid. Uh, but I went to this event and I was ready to sell this $2,000 thing, like a whole program and training and, oh, you're yeah. going to get all these bonuses. And oh, by the way, um, here's one bonus that you get. You get this flash drive and it has uh, $500 worth of my online trainings when you buy the $2,000 thing. And what people said to me in that event was like, well, how can I get the flash drive? How can I just buy that, Katrina? I just want to try you out. I just want to yeah. put in your thing. I don't want the 2000 I said, well, I hadn't even thought of it. I'm like, well, I don't know, 20 bucks. And you know how, much, how long it took me to sell eight flash drives for 20 bucks? It took <laughs> like 20 seconds. Okay, because right. people were literally throwing $20 bills at me or their credit card. And I'm like, ding, 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 I need some low end. Right. It's a low risk. And then they, if they get high returns, it's so interesting because since, you know, the coronavirus hit, I've been seeing a lot of people doing the $37 offers, $27 offers, $47. So I've been buying that shit up. Um, and I'm like, sure, I'll learn how to do an Instagram reel. This will be fun. Like, I'm having fun with them. But here's what's really interesting is that I was like, this is not... I was like, this is not targeted to higher level people like me, right? This is like for the people who only pay for small stuff. But yeah. I'm like, but this looks cool. I'll do it anyways. And what was really interesting is that I was, I would be going to their stuff and I'm like, this is so good. And I've gotten so much for this. I would actually spend five or $10,000 with this person or 15. And it was such a trust builder and awakening of what you're saying is that what is that simple yes oh my god i'm gonna do this and then people get enormous value and it builds that trust that it becomes so much easier to just just to leap up to that next level so anything under 200 dollars, like i'm kind of like you i'm not really a product learner so if i buy a product it usually sits there and i don't go through it okay so <laughs> 
I, I, I wish I could do that because it would save me a lot of money because I've hired people for $1,000 for an hour of their time where yeah. I should, tell me what I need to know and then let me get out. Like, I don't want to do a six-month program about it. Just I'd rather pay you $1,000 so you could tell me in an hour what I need. But my point is that, yes, you do need something. So Easy Yes offers is something yeah. under hundred dollars usually. That's when someone's usually willing to give their credit card to to sample you, to get an experience with you, to learn something from you. And if you can wow them in that experience, you're right. They will usually want more and see what else you have. Now, of course, they can go from cold to sold into a high end too. So you just have to have the confidence yeah. though. That and so the the higher end packages is where you need more confidence. It, you could come out of the gate with a high end program. You don't, people always say, oh, I'm too new to do that, or maybe someday I'll do a high end. No, now is the best time. Like just now, if you don't have a high end program, you'll never sell a high end program. So I'm, you know, we show you how to build a variety of things depending and on- And this is at your upcoming event. And I see you have free trainings too. I do, I, I, because you have to try me out, right? So like, it's really off an offer to the free trainings page that you're showing now is things that are pre-recorded and pre, uh, ready to go. I did actually just put recently on that page though. Um, I have some live trainings coming up in April. So next next Wednesday and the following Wednesday, uh, I have two different trainings. One on delegating and outsourcing, uh, because. At some point, if not right very soon, you're gonna need to hire someone to help you. And I show you how to hire the right people for the right jobs. Oh, and please do that. Get yeah. this free training, because I can't even tell you how much money I've wasted over my lifetime oh. hiring people. And part of it is that I wasn't clear on what I needed for, for those, but even yes. when I was clear, I totally have hired wrong people so many times, it's ridiculous. I could have bought three houses with the amount of wrong people I've hired. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> People say, well, I need a VA. And I'm like, okay, what do you need them to do? And they're like, I just need help with my social media. Well, that is not enough information for me to refer the right person to you. Right. So like, you have to get really clear on the activities, the tasks, yeah. the, the systems that you need people to plug, plug in into the systems. And so there's that. Then the other training I'm doing is about authentically speaking. We're all speaking. This is speaking. Whether you're yeah, speaking. And it's all under your free training. Sorry, I'm going to leave the banner up for everybody. It's the free training um, space. Those are just little things that I teach at the events at the end of April. But I wanted to come and have you experience some of my trainings. And I am, I'm not like a, a paper handout kind of gal. I mean, I have a workbook for my event, but not for these yeah. trainings. I'm all about the coaching, laser coaching. Okay, this is what you need right. to know. Uh, my clients always say, you know, thank God we recorded that because I just go <laughs> and they're like, ah, like, so I, I mean, the things that I say sometimes are exactly what you well, need. Right. <laughs> I hear it. My clients do the same thing. They're like, oh my God, did, what, like it just came through. Oh my God. Um, okay. So let's talk about um, creating new and easy additional sources of income, which is one of the things you are going to be working with everybody, with everybody at your event at the end of the month. Um, so talk to us a little bit about what that looks like, because I, I think that people don't realize how much they could be selling. Yeah. Oh, well, most people are just not, uh, I don't want to say salesy. You don't have to be salesy. You just need to be more assertive assertive and that's not a bad quality <laughs> it's not a negative quality to be assertive it's getting what you want you know the title of my book is a uh, woman step-by-step -step ride to finally taking charge of your life and, and uh, going after what you want so yeah. it, you have to take charge you have to take charge of your boundaries you have when people are overstepping and you have to take charge of uh, your clients and not settle for crappy clients you have to take charge of knowing your value and your worth so that you price yourself accordingly and don't waffle because you'll end up resenting yourself or working way too hard and going to burnout. Like, so yeah. we have to design the business around the kind of life we want to live, not fit our life in around our business. And I show you how to do that with the right business models, the right price points, the right marketing and follow up and sales processes. I love this because what one of the things that annoys the living crap out of me is how many people are like, buy this blueprint and you'll be a millionaire. And I'm like, 
you can't decide there's a blueprint for every person. Everybody has different goals. And what I love about your work, Kat, and what I love about what you're doing at your event at the end of April, which I'm going to just put up here so people can see it, um, is that you're going to be helping them to define what is a lifestyle they want. I know for me, um, because I've had the two major surgeries in the last year, I've been forced to only work three, four hours a day. And now that I'm getting stronger and I'm more energetic, I'm like, mm, I'm sticking to my three, four hours a day. I've reshaped my whole business to run on three, four hours a day. And I'm like, this is awesome because I get to serve really great people and help them. And then I've got the rest of the day to do whatever the hell I want. And but that might not be for everybody. Some people might want to work 16 hours a day. Some people might want to be on the road speaking all the time. But it's so important to really look at what kind of lifestyle do you want? And then what marketing systems and price points works within that? Yeah, you said 16 hours. I hope nobody really wants to work 16 hours. I know. Does anyone actually, there, if somebody wants to work 16 hours a day, they're avoiding life. They're they, avoiding something. They're having is, an addiction. That is a deeper problem because a lot of times I find people are avoiding their husbands because they're not connecting anymore yeah. or the husband is not supportive or vice versa with the wife. And they're avoiding their relationship and stuff, uh, working on it. And so they're diving into their business. And I see this a lot actually, or they're single and they think just online dating and dating during COVID and just dating in general just sucks and they can't even imagine doing that. So they're just going to pour their life into their work. Well, is that yeah. going to make you happy for the, another, the rest 30, 40 years of your life? Or, you know, the year that I found my second husband, my current husband, I had yeah. to go all in. I didn't hire a business coach that year. I hired a matchmaking service and I went to relationship <laughs> business workshops. I am not kidding. The year that I said enough. You I was with your last speaker. Right? Yeah. Like, that well, is I, awesome. <laughs> I don't recommend the company that I bought because they sent me some real losers. Let me tell you. But oh. the, I was telling the universe by those investments, you know, I spent yeah. $12,000 the year that I was said enough is enough. I want to find the guy this year. Right. And I put $12,000 in workshops and people to try to help me get to that goal. Yeah instead of business so I put I went all in so you know you have to go after what you want and stop avoiding the things that you think you can't attain or they're too hard and learn how to do it and and, and you know what and it's just and you have to remember if you're just doing one step at a time and celebrating those steps and don't compare yourself to other people because oh, a yeah. lot of us look at the big goal and we're like oh my god how am I gonna do this and the truth is, is that if you just don't measure yourself, like do it your own damn way and celebrate every little step, because even when you're established like you and I are, we still have more steps that we want to go and we still have places to grow. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so let's talk about speaking, because even though live speaking is not as prevalent for obvious reasons right now, speaking is still one of the best ways to lead generate. Mm -hmm. And so talk to us, especially because a lot of people in my crowd are speakers what are ways that people can monetize their speaking? And I'm talking about the people doing more of the speak to sell, the free speaking, marketing right. speaking, not the paid speakers like me. That's all I do. I mean, I've gotten paid to speak a couple times, but primarily all I do is free speak. Okay. Yeah. Because I know what I'm selling in the back end and I know yeah. when they come into my world, I can give them options. And because I have systems and automation in place and team to call them, to mail them stuff, to send them to a different landing page where they can find out about the different opportunity, right? And I send them emails every week uh, to nurture the relationship and educate them. And so if you have all that in place, you can really build a bigger business. But if you, and speaking is just the fastest path to cash because people can hear yeah. your energy. They can feel your energy on Zoom. I tell, I get that all the time. I love your energy. You know, people will chat in the chat room. Yeah. I love your energy, let's connect. I love your energy, let's connect. And I do the same thing. So when people who are alive on Zoom calls, when they're live, when they're lively and alive on Zoom calls, those are the people that you want to gravitate to. Whether you can, you know, build a referral relationship with that person or you can end up becoming uh, power partners or, or working with each other. There's opportunities everywhere and you're just not being assertive enough to take those opportunities and take a next step with them. So I, I teach how to take those next steps through Zoom calls and speaking gigs online or offline so that you've always got people in your in the works in calls and things like that. Yeah. 
you know, and I love that because it's, and again, you said it again, it's about systems, having the systems in place. So I know that for me, when I do speaking stuff, that's more of the speak to sell stuff where I'm marketing my services, you know, I negotiate into the contract that people get a free gift for me before they even meet me at the event. Mm, yes. And it's so interesting. So there's been a lot of events and even for my paid speaking, I do that. And I'll say, hey, listen, um, I know you want me to come speak on this. Um, do you want, you know, your attendees are going to be really busy for those three days, but they're going to be networking. How they present themselves matters. Do you want me to give them the, give away my free video series on presenting yourself at networking with mm -hmm. body language and voice? So what's really interesting is that when I get to conferences, um, I'm the famous speaker. Yeah. And not just because, I, you know, I have, uh, right. And I'm going to tell you that I don't really have to sell. Even if I'm getting paid, I'm not selling from the stage anyways, but people come up to me, they're like, oh my God, I watched your video series, you're so funny, and I've learned this, and I tested this out, and can I talk to you, I wanna work with you. Like I do, I get a lot of clients for my paid gigs, even though I never sell. This is the thing, I, I teach the before, the during, and the after this Right, week. so I gave you one little clue, and Kat yeah. is gonna teach because I don't- There is this. so much she more. This. There is so yeah. much more you guys can do, whether you're free right. speaking, paying to speak, there's so much more you can do in the before, the during, and the after. But if you don't know what those things are, you're just gonna miss out on thousands of dollars by not knowing. And you have to learn this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, it makes a difference. And you, do you have a, I think I saw something about speaking on your free trainings. I do have a free, free speaker audio training that's on that page. I also have a whole speaker training on how to you know, become a speaker. Especially the free speaking and how to really lead generate before, during, and after, and all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah speaking and is then, one of the biggest things I teach for a marketing strategy because the right. paid speaking is a business model, but the free speaking is a marketing strategy. So you have to know the difference and what to do differently. Right. And you were talking about negotiation, and you can negotiate a lot of different extras, but if you don't know to ask, again, missed opportunity. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. it's all the language you're going to ask. And people don't realize it. Things you can I ask love it. Negotiation. So we have the free trainings, but you also have your event coming up at the end of the month. Jumpstartevents.net is where you go for that because that's one of the many aspects. Because we're, you know, at your event. So let's talk about your event coming up at the end of the month. <laughs> yeah. So, because I mean, this is like the weekend where people can create a consistent money-making machine. And from what, it, and from me knowing you, what you're going to really be doing is helping people to systemize everything and build their business in a more so that they've got the funnels, they've got everything working, so they're going to have no work so hard. Yeah, honestly, people come to my event and they get their two or three things that are really going to make the biggest difference in where they're at now with what they're not monetizing, how they're not, what they're not doing, right? And yeah. so they're able to accomplish a couple of things during the event, most likely. There's so many other things to do. So most people end up, you know, working with me on some level, but again, no pressure. You can just keep coming back to the events. I do them twice a year, sometimes three times a year, depending. Uh, and every time I have people that come back five and six times because every single time they come back, they're ready for the next thing. Right. So you have to do things like you said, one thing at a time, because there's no humanly way possible that anybody's <laughs> going to do all of what I teach in one three day period or even in a year, frankly. I have a whole three year on entrepreneur evolution plan. So if, even if you've been in business for a while, most people have, are not doing all the things on that plan. And so we need to fill the holes and then find the opportunities to get you going now. And then you get those things systematized and, and in place, and then you're ready for the next thing. And that's yeah. how I usually work it. Um, but there's new information at every event too. I've been doing these since 2009. So I've been doing two to three day events uh, uh, <laughs> since then. And I love it. I love what I do. And it's very reasonably priced. I mean, I could charge thousands because it's really so much information that you're going to get more than most business coaches will tell you because I'm a very broad business coach. I look at the big picture. I look at things that you're saying in an email. I, nobody does all of that. I look at direct mail. I look at advertising. I look at sales. I look at your mindset, I look at every single thing you're doing because I have yeah, to. It's a whole together. Yeah, no, I love it. Um, 
So that's coming up. Yeah, I agree with you. Your event coming up at the end of the month is a no brainer. And I'm with you. Like people go, okay, once I've got my branding in place or once I've got this in place and I'm like, and then you're going to have a realization and you're going to have to redo it all, you know, or then you're going to have like, the thing is, or then COVID's going to hit or something else is going to happen and the world changes. Like, you know, I've been in business. September is going to be 25 years of me mm -hmm. being in business, which is so crazy and amazing because it was kind of accidental. I never meant to create this business and I love it or else I wouldn't still be in it. But it's so interesting because every time I, you know, in the past, I used to be like, okay, I have everything in place. And then it's like, oh, there's something else I have to learn. There's something else. And that's business. And you get to the point where you don't look at it like a burden, but you get stuff in place. You have a certain level of success and you're like, yes, this is awesome. And then you continue to tweak here and there, but you're not trying to go to a final destination. You just want to keep evolving and keep evolving. So it's yeah. great that you're doing these two, three times a year because you will hear things differently. Yeah. Well, and I learn every new things time too. And so I bring new content, right? So a lot of what I'm teaching this time around is how to really monetize Zoom events. And too many people out there are saying, oh, I've got Zoom fatigue. I want to attend less Zoom. I'm like, are you oh. kidding? You want to attend more Zoom if you need clients right now because that's where the clients are. So you just sitting and waiting and waiting till life comes back and you can go in person. Even when, when we can go in person again, there's going to be probably half the country who's not going to want to do that. And so there's still going to be virtual things. And I'm actually excited about it because I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> I made more money last year during COVID than I have in the past because I saved money too. I saved 30 grand on travel all the you know I go to 12 or 15 different trips around the country usually speaking or going to attend uh, attend conferences where I thought I needed to be to generate more leads you know in the back of the room and get all the people and I can do the same thing on zoom I can just show up and whoop, people buy my stuff so I mean it's you have to be working the right things and a lot of a lot of times people are just spending time in the wrong places and you don't know what you don't know and you're listening to the wrong people. I'm sorry, but there's people out there that are telling you to do these things because they did it once. And yeah. it's the cohesive marketing plan for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's so important to show up where, and, and for me, one of the things I talk about a lot, Katrina, is you have to show up in a way that makes sense for you. Right? So when Clubhouse comes out, everyone's like, you should be on Clubhouse. And I'm like, I don't even listen to podcasts because podcasts annoy me. Why would I ever want to be on a social media app where I have to listen to people talking all day? And even though I seem really outgoing, which I am, I am a person that needs a lot of quiet time. Nobody talk to me. Everybody stand the freak away from me. Leave me alone to my yoga and meditation. You know, like I don't want to be on Clubhouse, but TikTok I'm having a blast on. You know, Instagram I'm having a blast on because I'm the performer. Put me on camera. I'm happy as a clam. And I get a lot of clients from my videos. Me so too. So you have to also really like just stop like what you said at the very beginning because we're going to start to wrap up now but you said at the very beginning is that we're splattering ourselves everywhere you know the spaghetti against the wall and the meatball sticks here and the pasta is here and the tomato juice is here and the sauce is there stop in the name of love <laughs> no that means stop it sorry stop it. stop it stop it oh my god I'm haphazardly marketing <laughs> Stop half the things you're doing yeah. and learn what you need to spend your time on. Seriously. Oh, yeah. my God. Everybody's just working too hard. And they say, well, I'm already overwhelmed. I can't come to your event. I can't talk to you. Well, I'm going to help you stop doing that. overwhelmed. You totally want to come because I'm going to tell you, don't do this. Don't do that. That's too much. Stop paying for that. And then here's the two or three things you need to do to build a profitable business. And I'll bet yeah. you that most of those things I tell you are going to be free. You don't have to spend money on them. So yeah. like, why would when you people, not? When people say, oh, I'm going to do Facebook ads, I'm like, that is a money pit and a half. Mm -hmm. Stop doing that shit. Well, unless you're making $100,000 <laughs> $100, already in, the, in a year and having a good amount of profit, that's not where you want to be. That's not the beginner marketing strategy. That's the pay. No. You have to have a lot of money to really invest until uh, and do split. I mean, you have to have the right team. Like, Everybody that I know is making a lot of money off of Facebook is ads are spending 20, 30, 40 grand up front with the right team to really drill it down the market yeah. in the funnel. So, yeah. all right. So people can find you. First of all, let's show your free stuff. 
So go, it's just so many free trainings on this page. It's kind of ridiculous. It's amazing. Um, jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash free trainings. She's phenomenal. And like me, she's been in the industry forever. So she's a real deal. The people who've been around for a long time, we've been around for a long time for a reason. <laughs> Um, and she's she's yeah. just going to whip your stuff into shape in the most loving way possible. So go check out our event at the end of the month. It's super crazily like so it's just a no brainer in terms of price point. And for three days of you reshaping your whole business, um, one client will pay for it. Um, one and third of a client. Too, so there's only 100 people max. I'm not taking more than that because I yeah. like to work with people. Uh, so it's not one of those big like you've seen Tony Robbins. Those mega the events. Right? <laughs> It's not that you will actually be heard and seen and spoken to. Like, oh, yeah, it's I very love, you're special. I love it. And I'm <laughs> so good. So that goes to jumpstartevents.net. Just go down there. There's some free stuff there. And then you'll see her April event, end of April. And um, what are the dates of those? April 28th, 29th, and 30th. And it's only like 9 to 2. So it's not the whole day, Pacific time. Yeah. Oh, because, that's perfect. Yeah, so nine people on the East Coast can wake up, do what they need to do, and then join us at noon time. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's noon to five East Coast. You can still work half a day if you really want to. But yeah. come work on your business, and let's get this stuff handled so you're more making more money on a regular basis. Yeah, and you know. I love, I just love, I just adore you. And I'm so glad that you're doing this, Kat. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Cindy.